Now we're ready to use Excel 2010 to construct our histogram. And if you remember, uh, the data analysis feature right here over on the far right is, is already installed on my computer. But in case you don't have that installed on your computer, I'm going to show you how to get that real quick because that's what we're going to use to construct our frequency distribution histogram. And to do that, all we simply do is we go to File, and we're going to choose options at the bottom of this and once we choose options it's going to give us all these different things and we want to choose add-ins on this left uh, menu tab and there's a, a variety of different add-ins that we have but we really want the analysis tool pack so we're going to select that if you hit okay it's just going to kick you out and it's not going to install it so it's important that you make sure you go ahead and click go because that launches the window that shows the add-ins for the analysis tool pack and you can see there's four of them the only one that we need is this analysis tool pack so you'll need to check that box and click OK. I'm going to click cancel since I already have this installed. And then once we do that, we should have the analysis tool pack installed on our computer. Now we're going to use that to construct our frequency distribution histogram. So I'm going to choose data analysis and I'm going to scroll down and histograms already selected right here. And I'm going to choose OK from here and then I need to select my input data. And you can see I actually already selected that earlier, but um, I'll reselect it. So I'm gonna highlight all the data that I want in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now, if that happened to have a label in the top, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click labels right there, all right? Um, since we don't have labels, we're not gonna worry about it. The other thing is you have this bin range right here, and we're not gonna worry about that either, but the bin range is really uh, whether or not you're choosing the left endpoint or the right endpoint. If you have a number that's predefined or a group of numbers that's predefined for your intervals, you can use that and it'll sort it according to those, those deals. So we wanna choose an output range for this also. So what we wanna do is um, select the cells that we want the data to show up in and I want that in this uh, particular workbook I don't want a new page in the workbook and I'm just going to select that box right there and maybe it'll use up the whole thing maybe it won't and it's not a big deal so then the last thing I need to do is choose a chart output I want a graph for my uh, histogram so once I've done all that I can go ahead and click OK and it should spit everything out for us. And you can see what just popped up. We have our uh, frequency for each of these categories. Here's what the histogram looks like right here. Uh, you can go in and you can label this just like uh, um, anything else. And when we, when we do this, if you notice, it starts off with 23. These bin values right here, I believe, are the upper limits. So everything, all the data values up to the number 23, there's only one of those. And then this next grouping right here is really like the data values from 24 all the way up to and including 36. So there's four of those, and you can count those up over here. Um, when we get to 36, you can clearly see there's four. And then this would be all the data values from 37 up to 49. And when we look at 37 to 49, we're going to see that uh, we have approximately three of those, and that shows up there. And then this next one is from 50 up to 62. We've got to start one ahead of the previous interval, and that includes 62. So it's going to go 50 all the way up to 62, and there's six of those. And then the last one are data values that are larger than 62. So 63 on up, and you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those as well. So that's how that frequency distribution works right there. It just gives you the general information. It gives you the, the right endpoint. It includes that right endpoint and everything below it and in between the previous uh, values. So that's how we construct a, a histogram and frequency distribution really quickly using the data analysis feature in Excel 2010.